Okay, so here today we have the the rat rod. We'll call it the rat rod. Okay. So it is powered by my new V-twin. This one has zero gears. It's just direct drive with a clutch. Uh, it does have steering. I hope you guys like my camera quality a little bit better. I'm using a professional camera. Hoping that it does something. And then here, you can see all the internals. The clutch works with a differential. So there's that tire right there. And so a differential, both of these are open. But if you lock one side, the other side is forced to spin. So how the clutch works is that this rubber band right here, attached to this lever, keeps tension on that wheel. So the clutch is always engaged and to disengage the clutch all you have to do is that and that basically just opens up that tire and allows it to spin and it allows this to stay still this thing has some simple gear reductions here it has a double flywheel with the v-twin engine I say that this thing looks pretty sick, but that just might be me. This thing has some power. It does a burnout on dry concrete. I think I'll be doing that this video. Just give me a second. Okay, so right now, I'll set it up. Set it up just like that. And I'll, I'll show the thing doing a burnout here. That should be good enough for you guys. So I'm just going to connect the airline. I'm going to spin the engine over just to get it started. And you will hear the engine die because my pressure will be decreasing. I do not have my compressor turned on. So the tires are pretty dry right now. And these wheel fenders, these wheel fenders do dig into the tires, so I'm just going to take them off. They look cool, but they do dig into the tire. I wish I had two sets of these kind of tires, but I don't, so I was forced to use that. Okay, so with the little pressure I've left, I'm going to aim the camera at the ground. I hope that looked cool. And I'm going to do a burnout on that concrete down there. And as you can see, that's not smooth concrete. It's pretty damn grippy stuff. So, here we go. So as you can see, it does do a burnout right on dry concrete. And I'm not doing a top speed test because first of all, I do not have any more airline. And 
Uh, it's kind of hard. But I have a big project here. It's going to take probably two weeks. And it'll, it'll be worth it though. You guys just wait and see. Okay, that's all for today.